Okay, hello everyone. It's really great to be here with you this morning at Synergy Online 2021. My name is Andrew Lorraine and welcome to our session titled Go Digital in Just a Matter of Minutes with the Resco Inspections Questionnaire Designer. So at uh, Resco, I oversee our work with strategic partners and the name Resco I hope is familiar to you all. It's the technology that powers the mobile tech application, the Woodford solution, yes, named after Woodford Reserve, and uh, now mobile tech inspections. Um, our aim at Resco is to create technology that's straightforward to use but still makes a big impact. However, I'm, I must say that those impacts are only achieved by partners like key to act Resco's uh, 2020 Partner of the Year finalist, and then customers and users like yourselves. So a big thank you from Resco for making this all happen. Um, the Resco and key to act partnership goes back, I think, to 2012 or 2013, and together we've created technology that supports the work of thousands of uh, technicians who are completing their service calls and appointments in the mobile tech application. Uh, but this past February, uh, we launched uh, Resco inspections for mobile tech version 8.5. And with this partnership, uh, with, with Resco inspections and now mobile tech inspections, we wanted to further help you all tackle digital transformation uh, and do it faster and more efficiently by taking the complexity out of mobile forms. So we believe and practice has, and, and reality has shown that having a mobile forms tool now acting as a single application within mobile tech, helps uh, automate service workflows, it reduces human error, improves productivity, cut costs, really just great features and results across the board. Uh, in general, digital forms help uh, to transform outdated or inefficient processes and they empower uh, three different types of users. So the first one would be the technician, obviously. Uh, mobile forms help them perform tasks in an easy and efficient way, and they can do it right from their mobile device, right from the mobile tech application, without hours of additional training or any re really huge changes to their work process. Uh, it also empowers managers who can quickly roll out new forms, can run instantaneous reports, and analyze the data, analyze the trends to see where inefficiencies are and to be uh, transparent and um, you know, collaborative with your customers, the ability to share reports, share data. And then lastly, uh, the, the impacts are felt even up to the, the business leaders uh, where workforce efficiency can be scaled, form compliance can be ensured, training and operational expenses can be reduced, and so on. So mobile forms, going digital, and getting, these, uh, getting all these things into mobile tech uh, really unlocks a lot of value for different people within an organization and then ultimately for your customers uh, at the end of the day. So mobile tech inspections is a new separately licensed module. Uh, it provides you the tools to design inspection templates and uh, carry them out in the mobile tech app and then generate reports at the end. And it's mobile tech inspections can be exposed directly to your field resources, uh, resources within mobile tech. That's, that's really worth emphasizing is that this is an integrated experience within mobile tech, no additional applications or anything needs to be used. So ultimately, the power of mobile tech inspections comes from the form designer, which we're gonna look at today. It's the mobile forms themselves, which we'll also see. And then the ability to pull in advanced features like AI image recognition or image tagging, a couple of others uh, that really take the way service is done, reporting is done to the next level. When is, uh, inspections is, is enabled in your Woodford solution package, inspection or, or questionnaire templates can be designed in the questionnaire designer. And this is all accessible from your Resco Cloud dashboard. The drag and drop questionnaire designer lets you quick, uh, quickly create forms with reusable building blocks to make it easy. And you can easily modify or update existing templates to adapt it to your specific business requirements or feedback from the field. So in the next 20 minutes or so, um, I will show you how you can not only efficiently digitize forms that were in PDFs or Excels or maybe another forms tool, but then take them to the next level by adding these smart features that I've talked about. And these are things you'd never be able to do by using pen or paper or uh, PDF uh, or Excel. 
Um, these things can make a big impact on your customers. They add value and they save time. And most importantly, they are all totally achievable and accessible in the questionnaire designer. So here's the form that we're going to be looking at for today's session and digitizing. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward uh, HVAC inspection that was actually provided by an existing mobile tech customer. Um, you can see that the form requires some biographical information and information about the inspection and the HVAC unit. Uh, so then we have to enter some readings for the compressors and air handling units. Then we go through a series of checks of components and safety controls. Uh, we, we have some space for adding comments and photos. And then uh, we conclude with a customer and technician signature. So let's give it a shot. The questionnaire is fully customizable and you can tailor the template to your company's branding, add logos, images, or whatever you need to really take ownership of the form. And the designer itself has over 100 features. You can add virtually any type of question and answer. You can freely adjust the values, add notes or text answers. And the most common types of questions and answers include text or checkbox, single and multiple choice questions or an option set, whole number, decimal number, numeric range, date, time, lookup, URL, and, and many others. You can easily format the size, color, and font of buttons, which can be important for service technicians working in either extreme conditions or with gloves or PPE on. You can add branding and logos, use your own color scheme, and change the fonts to make the forms truly yours. Color coding and custom icons help users distinguish answers for faster navigation and better readability. You can shrink or enlarge buttons so workers can comfortably hit the right answer. You can set up smart formatting options. If a value indicates a warning or danger, the user will know because the color of the button will change to red, for example. You can add images instead of text-based answers, like take a pic or a video with the mobile app highlight issues with notes or sketches. You can tag images, meaning you can ask or answer a question directly in, in the image itself. With tagged images, workers can precisely place interactive tags into a viewed scene. This allows you to interact with the work effectively, quickly localize issues, and get additional data about an inserted object in one place. Since inspections can be easily integrated with third-party hardware, you can use tagged images even with de devices like the Microsoft HoloLens or RealWare uh, virtual headset. Add battery, place, you can digitize your forms really quickly thanks to several tools that allow you to reuse content or even whole groups of sections. You can easily even clone a question for reuse. Or even clone a whole group of questions. Or create a so-called snippet. Snippets for Resco Inspections Questionnaire Designer enables you to create an effortless way of reusing various questionnaires and their parts. A snippet may consist of individual questions or entire groups of questions. It can be built from scratch or by copying a selected part of an existing questionnaire. All snippets are stored in the snippet library. From there, they can be easily pasted into any questionnaire template. For example, 
Many questionnaires start with the same questions. The uh, inspector's name, address, contact information, and so on. These questions can be saved as snippets. Each time a user creates or modifies a questionnaire template, snippets can be simply pasted in without the need to recreate frequently used questions one by one. This rapidly speeds up the questionnaire building process and is a huge recommendation from us at RESCO. One of the best features of dynamic forms is the ability to use custom business logic rules that mean that a certain group of questions will appear if previous conditions are met. This type of questionnaire enables you to easily display or hide questions or even entire question groups based on how the user responded to previous questions or on the form. Using custom business logic helps to keep users focused and tailors forms to meet their needs. Ultimately, it allows you to build up questionnaire forms that it can include even hundreds of questions without a winding up with a long, complicated mess. Take an elevator maintenance inspection as an example. Technicians visit buildings with various elevator models, so upon selecting the elevator type, questions relevant for that particular model will be shown. Furthermore, the maintenance consists of multiple detailed checks of various mechanisms and systems, such as the brakes, the doors, the cabin equipment, the control panel, and so on. You can set up uh, things so that only one section will be visible at a time. For example, technicians won't be able to start inspecting the doors unless they've completed their checkup of the brakes. And custom logic can also be applied to individual questions. Does the elevator's control panel have any visible attrition or problems? If the inspector answers yes, he or she will be prompted to add a photo of any wear and tear. In case they answer no, the inspector can continue to the next question uninterrupted. You can score questions to assign different weights to different answers. The questionnaire scoring feature delivers valuable insights and real-time data by allowing users to assign a score to each question and answer. Question scoring, RESCO Inspection's new feature, enables users to identify whether a questionnaire is properly filled in or not. You can determine the importance of each question by adding a score to the answers. And based on the overall score, the complete questionnaire can be automatically marked as passed or failed. The Nivy Beer Company provides bars with free glasses and beer mats with their trademark logo on it. They offer them for free, with the requirement that all Nivy beer must be served in these branded items. When the company's inspectors visit the bars, they focus on whether they've met this requirement. And if, based on the scoring result, the questionnaire is passed, the bar gets a discount on the next order from Nivy. So let's see how question scoring works. In the questionnaire template, turn on the scoring feature and assign a score to each answer. When performing the inspection, these scores are automatically added to the selected answers. Once it's filled out, you can immediately see the result of the questionnaire in this case, whether the bar will get a discount or not. And in the results viewer, you can check all the details of the inspection, including how long it actually took. The scoring helps managers catch any possible inconsistencies and recognize exceptional performers, as questionnaires with high and low scores can be identified and reviewed instantly. You can quickly create different language versions if your company is working with international teams or you operate in several countries thanks to the localization options. When designing a form, you simply translate the question to another language without the need to create a whole new questionnaire. Once the form is filled out, you can add a digital signature to sign it by the technician or customer. Inspections fully supports DocuSign even uh, in online mode for those legally binding signatures. Okay, so our form has been configured in the questionnaire designer and now is the moment of truth to test it out in the mobile application itself. So when you're working in the questionnaire designer, you can have a window open directly in the tool to see a preview of the form you're creating. However, this kind of tool, it's great to see the results in action live. So we recommend at Resco to have your mobile device close by and to be synchronizing, synchronizing and publishing your work in the designer 
uh, as you're creating the form so you can see how it's developing. So if we look at the form, uh, I'll start at the top and just move through uh, completing the form and describing some of the elements that we've configured and how they have translated to the, the form itself. So at the top, uh, we have the uh, logo that we have uh, uh, inserted. So it, in this case, it's the key to act logo. It can be your own corporate logo, of course. We move to the general information section. You'll see that some information is already entered, such as performed by, today I'll be Diana. Uh, and you know, you can, you'll have the option to uh, select from the diff, uh, the, some of the options. You can input numbers directly, such as the contract number, the model number, and the unit number, serial number. For serial number, there's uh, opportunity to scan a barcode if you prefer or pre-populate these fields. And then uh, to conclude, I'll just select the refrigerant type as type one. Not very creative, but it gets the job done. If I can remember how to type here, there we go. Okay, so that completes the general information section. And I'll move on to the compressor where I'll just be inputting uh, numeric values and moving through the form relatively quickly. I'm sure that these uh, values uh, have no correlation to real life performance, but just for the sake of demonstration, you'll see that it's very simple to move through each field, to enter uh, an input, and then to dynamically trigger either a, a UI reaction or a business logic reaction if the inputted value is too high or too low or exceeds some kind of threshold. So uh, you'll see that the, the amps uh, measurement that I've entered is too low, so we throw a, a warning to, to the user uh, so that they're aware that this value is not in, in compliance. Okay, so I get to the oil level uh, question type, which you can see with the photo uh, or the camera icon. It's uh, requiring me to either take a picture, uh, use a photo from the, uh, the library on my device, capture a video, or some other kind of multimedia uh, option. So I'll just click here and I'll use the last photo taken, which should be, yes, exactly. So this is the uh, picture of the oil level and I can continue on uh, to complete the form. So for the net oil press, I'm just inputting uh, a, a number value and then I get to the sight glass option. And this is another uh, opportunity for us to use uh, color coding to help the user distinguish between uh, good and bad results. So the you'll see here that if I select problem, red, okay, green, classic choices. Uh, one thing that I'll mention is that I have the ability to repeat this, uh, the, this group of questions by clicking on the plus button. So you'll see that that's created a new section for me here underneath and I can comp uh, complete the same questions, exactly the same process for another uh, compressor unit. I'm gonna delete that just for the sake of the demonstration, but it's an easy way to build in some repetitive tasks or to duplicate a set of questions directly in the application. So I'll delete that. And we move on to the a AHU section. Very similarly, I'm just inputting uh, values based on the readings that I'm taking of the unit same as before, if I enter a, a, a value that's not in uh, compliance or too high, too low, I can get an error warning or color coding. Similarly, just inputting the values and then we get to some different question types where instead of inputting a value, you remember we can now choose between some different options uh, for the belts, filters and bearings. Uh, similarly, we've decided to use color coding to make this even more visual for the user with normal green, warning yellow, and danger red. So we have one danger, one warning, and one normal. So to the for the next section, instead of inputting numeric values, we now have an easy uh, checklist where we're just moving through and selecting OK or adding a note in case the, uh, the situation for the component is, is not optimal. Uh, I, before I go through, I'll just highlight the fact that as we, as we select note, you have the ability to write notes directly here in, in, this, uh, in the form. And you can also collapse the section 
to move more quickly and to keep it a little bit less cluttered. So we'll continue on with OK. We'll add a note. You'll see the note has the option to, uh, gives us the option to select a photo. We'll enter a value for the length of delay. We'll continue through our different sections with the fuses and, fuses and breakers, then the circuit board and wiring. Everything is looking good, so we're moving quickly. Compressor, OK. Crankcase heaters. Let's add a note that there seems to be an issue. If my spelling was OK, an issue here. Uh, return to inspect in one week. For example, we'll keep going, we'll select OK, we'll collapse the section, and so on and so forth. I think you get the, the idea. Just for the sake of the presentation, I'm moving very quickly. Obviously, it will be different in the field, but I think you get the pictures. Um, it's, very, it's very easy, very visual, very smooth, just to complete the process. Uh, as we move from component to component and do our checks. Okay, so I get to the gas components question, and I'm going to choose the same picture that we used for the oil level. And I'd like to show off another functionality that we configured in the questionnaire designer, that's the image tag. So by clicking plus, I have these preset tags in the bottom of the screen, and I can just drag them onto the photo to indicate where they are. This is good for auditing. This is good for, uh, for sharing the, the final report with the customer because the exact issues or the exact locations of different components can be highlighted and uh, it's, it's good for you know, proof of job performance ultimately. So these, it's very simple uh, to configure this and to deploy it directly to the, uh, to the application. So I've added my image tags. I click check. I'll expand the questionnaire. You can see the photo has been added with the image tags and this will be uh, displayed nicely in the report at the end. So I'll continue with OK, 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 OK. I'll collapse the section. Manifold pressure, I enter a numeric value as it's been configured. 67. Everything is looking like 67 today. OK, moving through. Can add some final comments here saying inspection of the HVAC unit was successful, for example, or whatever kind of comments can be a reminder, it can be notes to the customer, uh, whatever we find uh, in the course of the inspection. And then at the end, I conclude with a signature from myself and save, and then a signature from the customer and save. And that's it, I've completed the digital form. So I'll click save in the top of the screen. I can complete, complete with a report or other configurable options that are available here. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'll just complete with a report so we can see. Um, an important thing to note here is that you can give the user a warning um, to remind them to complete the inspection form. If it's missing some values, they won't be able to complete the report. And you can basically configure it so that once the report is completed, the inspection is completed, uh, there's no further actions that can be taken. This sometimes can be important for compliance or for, for process. So yes, I'd like to confirm and complete the questionnaire. And I'll just generate the, the mobile report here directly in the app. And you'll see here, everything is displayed very nicely. Uh, the reports can be also configured on your RESCO Cloud environment. And all the values, all of the, the notes, all of the images, all of the, the warnings have been added. The image with the image tag is there. And we conclude once at, or at the bottom of the form with signatures. Uh, this mobile report can be emailed, can be printed, can be saved. Uh, and associated with a service call, an appointment, a customer, an asset, uh, whatever the case may be. Okay, so there you have it. In about 20 or 25 minutes, we were able to uh, use the questionnaire designer to digitize the Excel form, save it, publish it, and then actually execute it on the mobile device directly. 
So uh, th these results, I think it's worth emphasizing that it's, these are not just achievable for Oresco experts. Uh, the tool is designed for anyone, uh, whether you have an IT background or not, to use the smart features, use the building blocks, use the ability to clone and repeat groups to uh, greatly improve the time that it takes to create these forms. So we, we mentioned things like question groups and snippets. These are the reusable building blocks that you can use for one form or even for multiple forms. Um, you don't have to create questions uh, more than once. You can just repeat it. Uh, we also have all the main question types covered. So if you need something, you're going to find it in the questionnaire designer. Uh, kind of moving to the next level, features like business logic and the design options are there to help you create a better user experience and to ensure better adoption of the digital forms themselves once they get out into the field. Um, this is important to keep in mind from the outset. And again, these tools are accessible, straightforward. You'll get the hang of working with them after a few minutes in the questionnaire designer. And then lastly, we showed a little bit of the advanced features like image tags uh, that are easy to set up with just a few clicks. And these are ways for you to not just digitize a form, but to add or bring added value to it, uh, bring added value to the inspection or process uh, so that customers can see more information, the whole process is more transparent and uh, more efficient. Uh, you know, it's an efficient way to document the work that's actually been done. So hopefully this was a great um, introduction to the tool and the, the concepts that make it very easy and efficient to digitize forms. So what I'd like to do now is just to provide some information about how you get started with the tool, what are the resources and options available for you, so you can check it out and see if this is the right fit for your business and you want to go digital with, the, uh, with mobile tech inspections and our questionnaire designer. So the uh, first point I'd mention is that we have an academy course available with instructions and exercises and a little bit of background information to get acclimated with the questionnaire designer. So we'll post the, uh, the link to the Academy course in the chat during the session. You can find it at the uh, Resco Academy. It's free to create an account. And it's really nice to have the Academy course open in a window and then the questionnaire designer open in another window so that you can kind of work through the process live and you can test things out. It's, it's much easier to retain the information that way. And now the second item is that you can start a free trial of mobile tech inspections without any commitment. Typically, we do 30-day trials of our software, but we have a special agreement for, for key to act customers uh, to extend that to 60 days upon request. So about two full months to work with inspections, to try out the tool, to create your own forms, to run a small POC or pilot out in the field and get some feedback. Uh, the last thing is that uh, key to act uh, customer success managers are available to uh, to give you more information from licensing to how to set it up to how to actually design the forms. So feel feel free to reach out to your your customer success manager or key to act in general for more information. Uh, and and then that, that's it. Um, it. It's been a fun process just to be here and quickly show how to use the questionnaire designer and see the results in, you know, live in the application. Uh, we believe that this is a great tool for your business. It helps you consolidate everything, all your digital forms, all your paper-based forms or Excels, PDFs into one tool and then deploy it uh, for a seamless experience out to your, your mobile tech users. So uh, go on and get the trial started and try out the tool and be sure to uh, to collaborate with Key to Act and, 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 and ourselves to get us feedback and know how you like working with Resco Inspections. Thank you very much for attending. I hope you enjoy the rest of the, the Synergy Online event, and we'll see each other soon. Take care.